Steve Andrews, in the broadcast news business, you have set the bar on investigative reporting. For 30 years, you have been relentlessly righting wrongs. But now that you're retiring, please, Steve, can we finally go fishing? I had the good fortune to work at WFLA-TV for 38 years, and during that time, I was so blessed with the opportunity to work with so many really talented, amazing people. And right up there at the top of that list is Steve Andrews. This is a guy who took his, his business very seriously. If you were on the wrong side of the law, you were not gonna be Steve's friend. Basically, if you were on the wrong side of politics, you were not probably going to like him. You weren't gonna like him at all if you were gonna do something bad in your life because Steve was the guy who would root out that and make it right, expose it in the way that many journalists were never able to do. He was tough, but he was kind. He's a good family man who loves his daughters and his wife with great passion. If you're his friend, you're a friend for life. But again, as a journalist, you did not want to be on the wrong side of the law if Steve Andrews was around. A lot of bad people paid for his good work. He was gifted in so, so many different ways. And I was so fortunate to have the opportunity to spend so many years around him and I really miss him now that I have retired. I don't get to see him like I used to. Um, but I'm so happy for you, Steve, that you get to enjoy this time with your beautiful family. You get to rest a little bit because nobody ever worked harder than you. I thank you for all of your hard work, for all of the treasured memories, and I wish you all the very, very best in these years to come. I can tell you, don't be afraid of retirement. It's really a lot of fun. Hi, Daddy. Congratulations on your retirement. It is so well deserved. We love you so much and we can't wait to be all together so we can celebrate with you and hug and kiss you. We love you. Hi, I'm Kendra Andrews. I'm Steve Andrews' daughter. Daddy, congratulations on a well deserved retirement. You are a force of good, an agent of change, and an inspiration to all. I love you forever. Hi, I'm Paula Andrews. Steve is my husband. I'm not the public speaker in the family, but I do want to wish him the best of luck in retirement. It's going to be great to have you home, hon. Um, I know how hard you've worked and how much you care. It's the community's loss, but somehow I know you'll stay involved. You've got people that still need your help. But I'd love to have you home, and um, I'll meet you on the beach at 4 a.m. shelling. And I know you'll be a great stepdad to the puppies that I have in from Southeast Guide Dogs. You, you're a wonderful husband, dad, and um, it's a new adventure. Can't wait for it. I'm Gordon Dempsey. I've been Steve Andrews' investigative producer and photographer for the last 22 years. I probably know better than anyone how hard he has worked and how much he deserves this time off. Him and his family have become like my second family and I'm ever so grateful for that. I will miss working with Steve, I will miss seeing his face every day, but I know that uh, we'll stay in touch. Enjoy your retirement, Steve, and kiss your girls for me. I wanna congratulate Steve Andrews, my friend, who's made a difference in people's lives, particularly helping out our veterans our true heroes. Again, uh, happy retirement, Steve, and I know I'll see you in the future. I'm Carol LeCicero. Um, I consider Steve a friend, but I'm also his lawyer. I have been for decades. I think I can safely say that I learned more from Steve than he ever learned from me, but it was a privilege to work with him to get this community information about problems about protecting the weak and holding the accountable to power for many, many years. Um, the community will never know the thousands of documents that he's reviewed, the hours and hours of surveillance that he's conducted to get information to you. What he's given up, what his family's given up. He's a wonderful reporter and he deserves a lot of fun and relaxation in his retirement, but I'll miss him. Hi, I'm Victoria Lim. I was the Eight on Your Side reporter for many years at Channel 8, and during that time had a chance to work alongside and be mentored by Steve Andrews. And I know many of you never got to see the countless hours outside of work, 
during his family time when Steve spent uh, tracking down information, calling people up, uh, giving voice to the voiceless, holding the powerful accountable so that he could bring us those stories that informed us, that provoked change, that helped protect us. Uh, and he did all of that because of the passion that he had for making our community better. We've been so lucky in Tampa to be able to have Steve in our lives and on our television for so many years. Steve, I am so excited for you. This is much deserved. And thank you so much to Paula, Kendra, and Erin for sharing you with us. You are truly a legacy and someone I am so blessed and so happy to still call my friend. I look forward to celebrating you very soon. Congratulations. I'm former county commissioner and former state senator Rhonda Storms, and I have come to decide that Steve Andrews is like that little mockingbird that chases the hawk across the sky, the hawk that's been terrorizing the neighborhood, because Steve Andrews holds accountable the fraudsters, the ne'er-do-wells, the fly-by-nights, and the hucksters, all on behalf of the little guy. Congratulations on your retirement, Steve. Hi, I'm Elena Lentz. I'm a veterinarian at Alafaya River Animal Hospital and an advocate for the animals of Hillsborough County. And I'd like to thank Steve Andrews for all of his help in giving a voice to the animals of the community. My name is Judge Greg Holder and I've been friends with Steve Andrews for 26 years. Steve, you're a true professional and I say that with the greatest respect. You investigated, you reported the facts without conjecture, without sensationalism, and I have nothing but great respect and admiration for not only your work, but your dedication to your family. I salute you, my friend. Godspeed.